back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. Also consider following me on Instagram where I cover slightly different content, but usually involving perfumes too. So today I'm very excited to start a new series. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a new series for me, and I'm calling it Chopping Block. I have definitely seen these um, types of videos. This isn't an original idea. Um, I've seen these for makeup and perfume too, I think. When I started my 99 bottle journey uh, recently, when I did a big declutter of my perfumes, and then followed by my curation series where I curated 99 bottles, which is the number that I would like to stick to for my perfume collection, which I know is still a lot. I'm going to be putting some perfumes on the chopping block because I have gotten a few new things. And so these new perfumes are going to be bumping out some of these current perfumes. So first perfume on the chopping block is probably this is from Armaf. This is La Femme. I really like this one. Um, I didn't keep anything in my 99 that I don't like. So I, I like all of these, but this one just doesn't last really well. It's also pretty similar to a lot of other things in my collection. So this is a floral fruity, despite the um, bottle. <laughs> just doesn't look like it would be like a really feminine kind of um, light floral fruity, but that's really what it is. So it's really nice. I like it. It doesn't last great. It only lasts maybe a couple hours. Um, it reminds me of other things in my collection like Ari from Ariana Grande, which I really like. Um, we Glow, um, some that I've featured in recent videos. Anyway, so uh, one of my daughters is taking this one. It's really nice, like I said. The packaging is interesting, even though it doesn't ma match the smell to me. So this is being bumped out by this is Idole from Lancome. So I got this tester on Fragrance Net for around $39 or so. And this is, I think, a 1.7 ounce tester. Um, this is a cheaper floral that I really like. Um, it's nothing mind blowing or groundbreaking, but I really do like this. So this came unboxed and it does come with a cap, which is nice because some testers don't come with a cap. But other than that, it's really just like a regular bottle of perfume. And I just, <laughs> I know this is a little bit of a gimmick, but I love how this is like the size of an iPhone, basically. <laughs> I just think it's really cool. And I like the fragrance, um, so I'm happy to have it. And I, just a quick story. I did actually find this um, on FragranceNet like a month or two ago. I saw a 2.5 ounce tester for $6.49. Well, it turns out that was probably a mistake because the internet ended up canceling that order, which was a bummer because I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, 2.5 ounces of Lancome Idole for 650. That was just unbelievable. So, so then that just kind of got it in my brain that I needed this. So anyway, so this is bumping out this and I'm pretty excited about this one because I do like it. The next one that's getting bumped is also not going to come as a surprise. This is MP2 from Mikalev and it's nice. It's a, it's a floral. It's a, um, it's a niche brand. It's a French niche house, Mikalev, that um, makes some really beautiful fragrances. And I haven't tried a lot of them, but I've heard really good things. So this is one, I did a video um, when I first hauled this and it comes with like a lip gloss that sits on top here. And then it came with a little set with a powder and a brush. So it's a nice perfume. It's called Studio, did I mention what it's called? <laughs> it's called Studio MP2. And I've been waffling on this one, but it's it's getting bumped out by none other than Narciso Ombre. <laughs> I've been talking about this one for so long, so I finally have it in my hot little hands. This is a three ouncer I bought on Mercari because this is apparently not being marketed in the U.S. at all. And sorry about the lawn mowing. It's just how we roll here. I'll just turn up my own volume. <laughs> Maybe I'll shut the window. So Narciso Ombre from Narciso Rodriguez. This is a flanker of Narciso, which is the one that comes in the white cube. This is kind of the summery version of Narciso, and it's got the Narciso Rodriguez um, DNA, which is that beautiful clean musk. It's gorgeous, I love it. Um, so fabulous subscriber Jim uh, wrote to Narciso Rodriguez and found out that they're not actually marketing this in the US. So. Apparently it's Europe, Canada, and I'm not sure which other countries, but not here. So thankfully I found this on Mercari. I really love it. It's it's just like I was expecting. So it's got Frangipani. It's um 
it's a summery spin on Narciso and I really love it. I love the bottle. I think it's gorgeous. And so, yep, this is, is bumping out this one. Next one that's getting bumped out is from Indulgent Moments and this is called Pink Peony and Water Lotus. This is a pretty new-ish one to me. I'm wearing um, Angel Eau de Toilette 2019 today, but I can layer this. This is very nice. This is very refreshing. Um, this was a really good deal. It's like a 4.2 ouncer and it's, um, mm, it's very pretty, very floral fruity. And um, I got this on Fragrance Net for around $10. It was really cheap and it's really nice. Um, but to me, it's not as nice as this one from Penrose. This is Garden Gangster. I found this on Mercari for, I can't remember how much, but I love Garden Gangster. I've had a mini of it for a long time. It comes in this gorgeous box. Um, this was sealed when I bought it on Mercari. And this is just a gorgeous, beautiful, gender neutral, very citrusy floral. Um, I just love this one. And so I've been really into Pinrose lately and I'm really excited to have this. This is really nice, but it's just, to me, this is, is um, far superior, in my opinion, than this one. So even though this nice, this is nice, I think this one's gonna go to one of my daughters as well. And then the last one in this chopping block video is this, this one from, <laughs> from um, Indulgent Moments. This is Neroleum Sea Salt, and this is another, another nice one that's not bad. Um, it's very summery, very refreshing and pretty. I do like it, but I am bumping it with uh, Lacoste Pour Femme. So I've had this before. I've had this in the past and I've just been missing it. It's a really pretty musk. Um, it's not groundbreaking, but I just, I really like this. It's kind of a, a really beautiful, easy reach. I think I first heard about this from Demi Rawling. Um, I've gotten some really great uh, fragrance ideas from Demi over the years. She, I think she's a really solid reviewer. She's probably the biggest um, female fragrance reviewer, I think, on YouTube. But um, so I really like this Lacoste Pour Femme. It's very classy, um, very versatile, office friendly. Um, you can just kind of wear this anywhere, anytime. And I think it's got decent lasting power. And I, although I like this one, it's just, um, I've got a lot of summer fragrances and I live in a pretty cold climate where summer is uh, pretty fleeting. So this one is, this one is bumping this one and that is just how it's gonna be. <laughs> and I think this one's going to my daughter too. So I have two older teenage daughters who both have very lovely perfume collections, most of which they've gotten from dear old mom. <laughs> So, um, so they are continuing to reap the rewards of my, um, perfume addiction. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to hear your video ideas for me in the comments. If you have some suggestions or ideas, those would be really interesting to hear. And I hope you're doing well and staying safe and healthy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much.